Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about force and acceleration. So this is mostly of use in mechanics, in A-level maths, but also in IB and also in physics. So the idea here is that force is something which is measured in newtons, causes acceleration, which is something measured in meters per second squared. So force causes acceleration. So if we have no force, therefore there would be no acceleration. So if there's no acceleration, then there is no change in velocity. So any time we want to have a change in velocity, then we would need to have a force to cause that. So normally, this is written as force is equal to mass times acceleration, or the equation is written as F is equal to MA. Now, that equation is very useful for us, and that will help us calculate a lot of things which are going on. So ordinarily, in these kind of questions, we have some kind of trolley, and then there's masses written on there and there's forces on there. So then we say I've got a trolley here and it's got a mass of two kilograms. And then I'm going to have a force like that of say 10 newtons. So what I've got there is on my trolley, I've got a uh, force and I've got a mass and I might be asked to calculate the acceleration. Oops, I don't really want to do that. So the acceleration is going to equal, so F is equal to MA, so acceleration is going to equal F divided by M. So it's going to be 10 divided by 2, which is 5 meters per second squared. Okay, that's not too difficult. Now, we can also get the situation where instead of just having one force on there, we have multiple forces. So let me get my trolley again. Move it down here. Let me add on mass again. So let's have this one be five kilograms. And then I'm going to add some forces on. So let's have a force that way. And let's have a force that way as well this time. So let's say this force can be 40 newtons. And this force can be 10 newtons. So in this case, I've got a force of 40 newtons moving to the right and a force of 10 newtons moving to the left. So my net force would be 40 take away 10. So again, I can, if I want to find A, I would use F equals MA, so it would be F divided by M again. So my force would be 40 take away 10 divided by my mass, which is five. So that would be 30 divided by five, and I would get the acceleration is six meters per second squared. Okay. Now, what usually happens in these kind of questions is it's not as straightforward as that either. And what you actually get is situations where you have multiple trolleys or multiple cars joined together. So let's say I've got one little car like that. And then I've got some kind of trailer like so. And they're joined together with some kind of bar. Now, on the bar there, there's going to be a tension that way and a tension that way. So because the trolley to the right is going to be pulling the trolley to the left, the tension is going to pull backwards on the left on the right hand one and forwards on the left hand one. Then in order to drive the system along, there's going to be a force here of 40 newtons. And then going to imagine there's some kind of retarding force. So there's some friction or something on this one of 10 newtons and on this one of 5 newtons. And then again, I need to label it up with masses. So let's have this one with a mass of 4 kilograms and this one with a mass of 6 kilograms. Now let's imagine that our question is going to say find the acceleration of the system and the tension in the connecting rod. Okay, so I need to find A and then I also need to find T. 
So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to consider it in different ways. So first of all, I'm going to consider the system as if it was a whole one thing. So just consider it as one body like that, which would have a mass of 10. So because they're two parts with four and six, I just added those together to give it as a mass of 10. Now, because I'm considering it as one whole body, I only need to look at the forces acting on the outside externally on the entire body. So the force of T on the left and the right acting internally, so because that's acting on the connecting rod between them, I can ignore those and I can just consider the forces externally. So I've got 40 newtons going this way, and then I've got five newtons going that way, and also 10 newtons going that way. So that's my situation if I look at the body as a whole. So what I can do now is I can do F equals MA exactly like I did before, and I can work out the acceleration of the system. So F is equal to MA. So I can say that 40 minus 5 minus 10 is equal to 10A. So I've got that from doing my force. So my 40 is acting to the right, which is why I put that as positive. My 5 and my 10 are both acting to the left in opposition, which is why I've put them as negative. And then that equals 10A. So that would give me 25 is equal to 10A. So A would equal 2.5 meters per second squared. Now, because I now know that, I know what the acceleration of the system is. So what I would want to do next is instead of looking at the system as a whole, I'm going to delete that, delete that. And then what I want to do now is look at just one part of the system. So in order to work out T, I can look at just this bit. So by doing that, I can consider just that body. So then I'd look at the forces at it. I would have the T on the right because the T is acting on that trolley to the right and the five to the left. So if I redraw the system situation now, I've got four kilograms. I've got T acting this way. I've got five acting this way. And I know that the acceleration is 2.5 meters per second squared because the two are joined together and I just calculated the acceleration for the whole. So now I can use my F is equal to MA again. And my situation will be that T, take away five is equal to four times 2.5. So again, I've done T because T is acting to the right. I've done T as positive. My five is acting to the left, so I've done minus five. That equals the mass, which is 4, multiplied by the acceleration, which is 2.5. So I'll get T minus 5 is equal to 10. So T will equal 15 newtons. Now, I did that by doing the trolley on the left. I could, if I'd wanted to, have done it with the trolley on the right. So let me mark that one in green, and let's draw that situation. So if I'd have done the green one, the situation would be like this. So I've got 40 to the right, T and 10 to the left, and it's six kilograms. And again, my acceleration is still 2.5 meters per second squared. Okay, so in this situation, if I do F is equal to MA, I would have 40, take away T, take away 10. Again, looking at the forces, to the right is 40, so that's positive. To the left is T, and the left is 10, so that's why we're doing those as negative. And that's going to equal 6 times 2.5. So that's going to give me 30, take away T, is equal to 6 times 2.5 is going to be 15. So then shift the 2 to the right and shift the 15 to the left. So I was going to have 15 is equal to T. T is equal to 15 newtons in exactly the same way as I had before. So it doesn't matter that which one I do. I can either do the right-hand one or I can do the left-hand one to work out my T. And I can do the system as a whole when I want to work out the acceleration. So by looking at either the two trolleys joined together and just looking at the external forces, which enables me to work out the acceleration, 
and then I can look at the separate trolleys, either one, either the purple one or the green one, to work out what the tension is. So those are sort of techniques that you will use and using F equals MA on different parts of the system to work out different things. So that's how that works. Have a look at the next video and I'll do a sample question.